So what's going to happen again right there? We're going to keep it upside down for right now. It still should be upside down. And we're going to start off with just the initial part. Remember when you bring it up to three and flicking it. One hand. Ready? Three. Three. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> there you go. Recover. So three, what are we doing? Three. Going from there. Ready? Three. Recover. Three. Recover. If you have to, because of loose, you might have to hold it just a little bit. All right. Yeah. That's okay. Right now. Three. Recover. Okay. Now, you want to see what happened right there? Just watch me. When you actually go out in this position, you're going to come out and you got to flick it. And that's going to come out just like that way. It's a friction lock. If you don't flick it, it's not going to use that friction lock to lock in place. Now, this is the next part, closing it. Watch me right there. As I close it, you're doing two things. You're like a hammer fist, but also squatting, using your body. So squatting. So you want to be hammering it all the way down to this point here. So when I hammer down, I'm going straight down. I'm going all the way to the end here. Where are my eyes? I'm there. I'm still right there. It doesn't matter if you feel the threats over with. You're still looking up possible threats that are coming at you. But you got to hammer all the way down. What you don't want to do is this. Chop because you'll scrape knuckles. I got band-aids, but I prefer not to use them on you. So again, you're coming up here. Friction lock. And also, that's an attention gainer in itself. Imagine hearing that at night in a dark place. Yeah, that sounds like a pistol. Yeah. And then you go in and hammer it down. If it doesn't go all the way in, then guess what? Did I look, did I go back there and do this? This is what a lot of people do. How silly that look. Then go back, hammer it again, and go from there. Everybody got it? First time I come.